the land is very important. The river is super important and um, we've all got to do a little bit better, I think, to um, look after it. It's a beautiful environment. My name's Jim Porker and I've lived at Ellerslie um, uh, for over 60 years. We're having trouble in, on the Darling at certain times with um, uh, fish eggs and lice and whatever uh, blocking up filters. With sand filters, they're very good, but they're very expensive. So uh, we're looking for something cheaper and that was more environmentally friendly because um, they can do damage to the small fish and the shrimp and the eggs and what's going back. Most native fish, even the big ones like Murray cod or golden perch, they start life as tiny little eggs, like millimetres big. And at some stage, those eggs or the larvae that hatch from those eggs are going to be moving downstream with flow. That unfortunately brings them into contact with pumps. Pumps can take them out of the water. They're too tiny, they're not good enough at swimming to get out of the way. So lots and lots and lots of baby fish are removed by pumps, which means there's fewer fish surviving and growing in our rivers where they should be. So the river screen is a, it's basically a primary filter, so it's actually filtering the water before it gets to your pump. So you're not actually getting um, all your fish and that going into your, into your main line and blocking your other filters up. So it's a, it's a floating suction. Um, it sucks off the top four inches of water. Um, it floats up and down with the river height. So um, if the river rises six foot, well, the river screen will rise up with the water level and drop down with the water level. And basically, the way the river screen works, it, it's a spinning filter, so it spins and constantly self-cleans itself. Uh, shrimp, fish, um, fish larvae, um, they just can't get through it. So, yeah, they're staying in the river where they should be. This screen, when I heard about it, it just, I just, my eyes just opened up in, in excitement because this is a way that we don't even have to remove anything from the river itself. Everything stays in the river. The only thing we can remove is the water we need and put it where exactly where we want it. It helps us use less water, be more efficient and more effective. If this screen can work and work well with um, drip irrigation, it's, it's going to save just that much money and, and help the environment and help everybody. So it's, it's a win-win. So irrigators are picking this technology up worldwide. Uh, it's good for the irrigator themselves because cleaning pumps can be frustrating, if not very expensive in terms of time and dollars. So a farmer that puts a screen on their pump is not making, only making an investment for their business, they're also contributing to the health of the river system. If we all do our bit, then overall all the things that threaten fish in the river system can be addressed. And this is the bit that farmers can do very simply. It's a big cost initially outlay, but the benefits for them long term in terms of money is good and for the river, fantastic. If we don't look after the Darling River itself, um I don't think anybody else is going to. Um, it's up to the farms themselves that live along the Darling. We must keep up with the times and look after our river, and this looks like a good way.